The Venus Project is a nonprofit organization. We look for the root causes of the problems in this system and propose something entirely different than anything that's ever gone before. These are made to blend in with the environment. While we may see these alternative living structures as a trade-off to our current housing, Fresco's designs lean on a more nuanced approach. The structures offer various possibilities for customization. This could be pulled off a mold and made, you know, laid like eggs by the hundreds. But never at the cost of practicality. Means they're fireproof, they get stronger with age, made of concrete and steel. Or effectiveness. Centuries ago, people were able to live day-to-day -day lives and there wasn't many uh, drastic changes with the technology that we deal with. Mm -hmm. Now technology is making great, vast uh, societal changes. How does that rate of change affect your mission? You know, Jacques used to talk about how, <laughs> you know, just in easy example, he used to do special effects for Hollywood as well. Yeah. And he would have spaceships and outer space and rockets going to the moon. And this was in 1959, and people would come up to him and say, you'll never see that, not in a thousand years. And he'd go, oh, you work with rocketry, no. <laughs> You work with propulsion, no. He'd say, then where do you come off with all these opinions? So all these models that you see here, Jacques Design, he wanted to show what the future could be like, what we're missing, what it could be like in a resource-based economy. This is part of a set. We put this together in the spinning mechanism we got from NASA, and okay. um, we put the city in the middle. We yeah. put a little helicopter model here, and we put a fan under it, and so the blade spun, and then we shot it, and it looked like the helicopter's moving, but it was really the city that was moving. Wow. <laughs> Perhaps the biggest change of scenery would be for people relocating to the ocean. Where people can come and, and do research on the oceans. A harmonious relationship with our aquatic neighbors could be on the horizon. These cities in the sea would be used for studying marine life and cleaning up the dangerous pollutants we've released into our waters. We made this mess, we're gonna have to clean it up. Technological advances with anti-corrosive materials could lend a new opportunity for humans to step away from their homes on land. So this is what takes your place of the government. This is the earth in real time, where you can see where the ships are, the planes, are. And this might be the Department of Energy, this might be the Department of Agriculture. I imagined myself sitting on one of the departments Roxanne described. It's time we see the shape and design of our future. It will be hard to say goodbye to the kind of homes we've come to know, but remind yourself, our real home is Earth.